So you want your thing to sound like this, right? This is the little filter warp thing you guys hear sometimes on your plug beats or plug in B beats. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it on FL Studio Mobile. Uh, one thing is uh, you're gonna need this. So if you don't know how to get to that, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go ahead and start up a new project. Uh, go ahead and open your sample choice. You can also do this on an already made uh, project of yours, but I'm gonna do this on a project here I have right here. So uh, let's open this up. Sync your sample to the BPM. So. Uh, Alright, now that we have that done, what you want to do is click on this and also click on that little arrow on the side. Go to Add Module Multi FX. Now, what I want you guys to do is click on LP Filter. It has to be on LP Filter for this to work. Put LFO amount all the way up. And then I want you guys to move this over here. Just about right here, right? Um, click on this. And the reason we're doing that is so we have this kind of like selected and we can come down here to control and add automation track. Now that we have this, what I want you guys to do is go here to the middle, click one in like this, click one in like that and put this down here. Now that you have this, it's going to sound like this. Let's just drag this out. But guess what? You're not finished. Uh, what you also need to do to kind of like make it sound a little, you know, transition to have the transition sound a little bit better. What you're going to do is you're going to basically record. You're going to put record on and you're going to move this like, like so. So. So now that you've recorded like this kind of like wavy, you know, thing here, it's going to sound like this. But yeah, you can do that. You don't have to do it, although it does sound a lot better when you do it. And yeah, that's quite literally, that's quite literally it. So. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next little tips and tricks for FL Studio Mobile.